The Cincinnati Bengals go on the road to face their division rival Pittsburgh Steelers on Sunday in what is probably Week 16's most meaningful game. This is absolute must-win time for both of these teams. It's really going to have a playoff feel. Cincinnati at 8-6 and six has a one-game lead over Pittsburgh for the final wild-card spot in the AFC, but the Steelers have already beaten the Bengals once this year. Two months ago, they came back from 14-3 down and won 24-17. So if the Steelers win this game, all that will have to happen is them beating Cleveland next week to make the playoffs, and Cincinnati will be out. If the Bengals win this game, the Steelers are out of the playoffs. Cincinnati will play Baltimore next week for the division, assuming Baltimore loses to the New York Giants this week. So everything's still out there. Both these teams could still miss the playoffs. Both these teams could still win the division. Pittsburgh would need Baltimore to lose their final two games. Uh, and Pittsburgh would need to win their last two games. So everything's out there for both these two teams. Should be a highly competitive game. Now, Cincinnati has had no success against the Pittsburgh Steelers recently. They've lost their last five games. Andy Dalton is winless against the Steelers in his career. He's played very poorly against this defense. Of course, he shouldn't feel too bad. Most quarterbacks play poorly against the Pittsburgh Steelers. Once again, the Steelers are great on defense this season. First in the NFL in total defense, pass defense, fourth in rush defense, eighth in points allowed. The Steelers and the San Francisco 49ers, in my opinion, have the two best defenses in the NFL this season, with apologies to the Seattle Seahawks. But I'll tell you what, Cincinnati, the way they've been playing defense over the last couple of months, they shouldn't take a backseat to anybody. The Bengals are hot. They've won five out of the last six games, and it's really been defense and the running game that has done it. In, that, in their last six games, they've won five out of the last six. As we mentioned, the Bengals have only allowed 12.5 points per game. That is best in the NFL in that stretch. And over the last five games, they are averaging 168 rush yards per game. Ben Jarvis Green-Ellis, the law firm, has really stepped up, and he's really running hard right now for the Bengals. That's a good thing because Andy Dalton has not played well these last three games. And if you saw the Bengals play last Thursday night against the Philadelphia Eagles, I know they ended up pulling away in the second half of that game and winning, but they did not look very good. I, they've been playing good defense, and their defense looked pretty good in that game, but it, you came away from that game thinking, well, this is two bad teams. The Bengals did not look like a playoff team in that game. So they're four-point underdogs here on Bet Deck, 43-and-a-half the total. We mentioned they've lost five straight games to Pittsburgh. Tough to have much confidence in them. But let me make a small case here because Pittsburgh, this might not be the same Steelers team. I mean, we expect the Steelers to win in spots like this. I expected them to beat the Dallas Cowboys last week. They lost in overtime. But even though they're first in the league in total defense and pass defense, as we mentioned, they have big injury problems right now in the secondary. Ike Taylor, far and away their best cornerback, is out. He fractured his ankle a couple of weeks ago. And the first time these two teams play, Ike Taylor locked up A.J. Green. A.J. Green, of course, the young Cincinnati receiver who's probably one of the best three or five wide receivers in the NFL, only caught one ball the first time these two teams played. Now with Ike Taylor out, A.J. Green will probably run wild. I mean, it's, it's not only Taylor. Steelers have other injury issues in the secondary. As you know, if you saw him play Dallas last week, they have some practice squad guys running around out there, guys who were on the practice squad, that is, a couple of weeks ago, running around out there in the secondary. Tony Romo repeatedly picked on those guys last week, and even though Dalton is not as good as Romo, so I'm not sure he's going to be able to pick on certain guys, I do think the Bengals are going to have more success through the air than they had in their last game a couple of months ago against the Steelers. And Andy Dalton will probably have more success than he's had so far throughout his career against this defense. And so I want to like Cincinnati here. I really do. It's just so tough. If you know the history of these two teams, I mean, the Bengals always underwhelm in situations like this. And we're in Week 16 in Pittsburgh. This is the Steelers' time of year. They're still playing great on defense. Ben Roethlisberger has a couple of games back under his belt now since he returned from injury. And even though last week against Dallas he didn't look great, certainly Roethlisberger is still one of the best six or eight quarterbacks in the league, banged up or not. Now we mentioned the Cincinnati defense has been playing great. Pittsburgh does have problems on the offensive line. So there can be a case made for Cincinnati in this game. And to tell you the truth, I lean towards Pittsburgh on the money line, and I might lean towards Cincinnati and the points. But I think I'll, the bet I like a little more in this game is under 43 and a half. The Steelers defense, even though they have injury issues in the secondary, they've been excellent this season, as we said. Andy Dalton has not played well these last three weeks. 
I do not think the Bengals are going to be able to rush for 160 yards or whatever whatever they've been rushing for over these last few games. They're not going to be able to do that to the Pittsburgh Steelers. So I expect Cincinnati to not be able to score much. And I have faith in this Cincinnati defense limiting the Pittsburgh Steelers offense. Cincinnati has an excellent secondary. Pittsburgh struggles to run the ball as it is. We mentioned they struggle on the offensive line this season. So I like a low-scoring game here. I like under 43.5. And, and I expect Pittsburgh to win the game, I guess, but I think it's going to be a really close game. I don't feel comfortable with laying those points. Uh, Cincinnati and the points is a bet I understand. Anyway, this should be a great game. I'm really looking forward to watching it.